Hello, everyone. Um, I want to share two things with you. Uh, so everyone included research and everyone included conferences. And um, just to start, like last year, back in June, um, we were in Washington and uh, there was this workshop co-hosted by Medicine X and uh, um, White House, patients partnering in precision medicine. And at that workshop, um, there was a lot of frustration voiced by many of the stakeholders that, you know, healthcare conferences in general is not very accessible to patients. You know, they're very open to academia and industry. And uh, considering the purpose of conferences to disseminate information, to um, facilitate networking, get people talking, um, wouldn't it make sense to uh, involve patients? And so, so we kind of felt, yes, yes, it does. And, um, but we, we, so there's a group of us there, um, some, uh, some patients, researchers, uh, organizers, we, uh, we got together and we want to find evidence supporting this idea. And um, it became clear to us that this evidence needs to be in a language that our industry understand. And so it needs to be published scientific data. And so this is what we did. If we could advance, the, it looks like maybe the, the, the slide is on my last, last page. If you can put it back to the first, um, it's still, okay, let me see here. There you go. So we looked at 1600 healthcare conferences. Uh, this is three years worth of data and um, that's over 7 million tweets. And um, this results got published uh, last month in Journal of Medical Internet Research. And uh, here's the facts. Healthcare conferences that promote patient participation, they increases information flow, meaning that the ideas, the data coming from these conferences, there's just a much greater volume. And the second one, which is my favorite, is these, these healthcare conferences that engage patients, they have richer conversations. And the way we measure this is that we look at the type of tweets coming from them, um, looking at replies uh, instead of the, the random retweet. So replies, some, somebody's uh, replying to an original tweet, they take time to type that tweet, um, and it's something that engaged them. Maybe it's uh, something they agree with, something they don't agree with, um, you know, maybe they want to show some empathy or share from the experience. Um, so this is just the quality conversations are much higher. And the third one, these conferences, they expand propagation information, meaning that the information, the ideas shared at the conference, they actually uh, reach a much wider audience. And I think at least this one, the last one, is something that every one of us involved in a conference would agree that is a good thing, whether you're a presenter, um, you know, um, an audience member, or the sponsor of a conference. And the second thing is everyone included conferences. Um, for the same, uh, from the same background, from that workshop, it was decided that uh, you know, it would be nice to help out conferences to, to learn about everyone included, its principles, and um, we got a lot of help with this. And this project was uh, started and announced on this stage uh, 12 months ago, last year. And um, there's, there's perhaps one, one person I would just mention that we got a lot of feedback and help from, that was Jerry Matsak. And I hope he would have um, liked the next, next slide. Um, what we did is we opened up for healthcare conferences to self-certify, to accept these principles and everyone include declaration. And um, here we are 12 months later. So what happened? So we had 305 healthcare conferences around the world, 24 countries, who accepted these principles. And uh, you know, these, these numbers are just at least one order of magnitude higher, greater than what I have expected. Um, so I, I feel like that there's, some, there's something here, uh, something here worth building upon. And uh, I think we're going to take the, to the next step uh, very soon. I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to map them on the world um, to kind of get some perspective. So, so thank you very much. Um, if you want to help 
Um, if we want to help these unheard voices in healthcare, please use this uh, data. Arm yourself with this science, uh, this evidence. Um, I truly believe that it makes a lot of sense. It makes these conferences better when more of the voices in healthcare are, uh, are present. Thanks.